going to be having more of this story of Prime Business tonight at 8 p.m., so please make a date for that. In the meantime, tonight on the Joy Business Van, we discover great art by contemporary artist Patrick Dodu. Patrick shares with us the value of art, which has been underestimated here in Ghana. Take a look. He's painted portraits of various notable personalities, but Patrick William Dodu is only just getting started. We are headed to his studio at Dansuman here in Accra. Patrick takes pride in being the fastest live artist in the country. His ability to paint portraits in less than 10 minutes has taken him places. The journey began in Sekendi Takwade in the western region of Ghana where Patrick grew up. His story is similar to many other artists who discovered their skill while growing up and stuck to the calling. Sekendi Takwade is a place that I feel that played a very huge role on my side, on my life where the toil through um, strong artists like Charles Atukobra, late Atukobra, Ricky, um, Dapo. Patrick was challenged by these remarkable artists and soon he would start his own work. I asked him about the first artwork he sold. The first of it was 600 CDs. That was quite was encouraging. Um, that would be like 12, no, like 15 years now. That should have been big money there. Well, that should have been, that is big money. Aside from being a live artist, Patrick's works depict a wide range of issues. He likes to inspire hope and empower people through his paintings. Patrick is often contracted to do specific jobs, like today. He's doing a piece for an automobile exhibition. Most of my artworks at the moment based on my gallery at Crystal Homes and uh, Bedford's Gallery. I think a size of 50 by 70 centimeters goes as much as 6,000, um, which is a good, to me, it's a good platform. Um, I mostly don't do a lot of exhibitions, but that's the gallery I'm being signed on. So mm. most of these works that I do, but this work in particular would go probably between 20 to 25,000. Um, because of its high um, consent to clients who already get to like, I mean, just encourage uh, me to do that such work because it's commission works that I need to do. Art today is a $50 billion industry globally, but here in Ghana, interest is really low. But Patrick is convinced it's a good place to invest. In Ghana at the moment, most of them are struggling to make it out because we are not getting most investors from Ghana who get to understand its necessity. They feel that there's more to do with it, with that money in particular that they are buying. But they are only forgetting that if they buy this piece that of mine over here for 4,000 CDs, in two, three years, based on how I am equally as an artist improving on myself and being known, you can still sell the same artwork which you bought for about maybe 2,000 CDs by two, three years and sell it out for like 4,000 and more. While creating the market may be one of the biggest challenges, some materials are pretty hard to get. Patrick has had quite a successful career so far. He's met many great people and has been to several countries. Their live painting is what has actually pulled me to places. I've been to Zimbabwe, Zambia, Nigeria, Ivory Coast, just last week from Sierra Leone, um, Liberia, Kenya. Um, all these places, one of which that most of the dignitaries have met, um, Strive Masiawe from Zimbabwe, the owner of Kwese TV. Um, Baba himself, I mean Obasanjo from Nigeria, one-on-one. -on -one. Now, Patrick is working with the UN on his SDG projects aimed at using art as a tool for development. He's also started a number of initiatives to hone the skills of young people. The vision is just to spread it out, try and let our leaders know that it can never in any form be done without art if we really need development. That is the main foundation that they will need to build any other development upon. 